In 2018, my video partner Randy Brown and I produced a documentary called The Secrets of the Salton Sea. If you were one of the 425,000 people who have watched that show, then you know that there are at least 26 World War II bombers lying on the bottom of the Salton Sea right now. The Salton Sea is drying up fast. And in our documentary, we pointed out that it's only a matter of time until all of these rusty old aircraft, tens of thousands of atomic test bombs, and possibly even human remains rise to the surface. Water out here on the shore of the Salton Sea is receding quickly. So my goal is to, is to come down here once a month, fly my drone along the shore to see if I can find the remains of any of those aircraft. This was the first time I had flown over water for an extended period of time, and I was pretty nervous. But what was worse is that I could not see a thing because of the reflection off the water and the enormous algae blooms under the water. So it wasn't until I got home and was able to look at the video footage closely that I noticed a couple of interesting things that were out there. Of the 26 aircraft that crashed into the Salton Sea during World War II, 10 of them were Avenger torpedo bombers. The Avengers had been designed to carry a single 2,000 pound torpedo but the Avengers that practiced dive bombing at the Salton Sea didn't carry live torpedoes. They carried identically sized torpedoes made of concrete, and there are probably tens of thousands of these littering the bottom of the Salton Sea. As the drone approached Sandy Beach, which is about a half mile south of the test base, something interesting came into view. What I'd originally thought were concrete pilings from an old dock turned out to be something else. My friend Sid Burks, who's an expert on the military history of the Salton Sea, identified the concrete structure as the remains of a naval boat launching system that was used during World War II. 